Good evening, it's me, Danny Chief for On Patrol TV. It's Gay Pride Week. We're here in Industrial with Marcella Detroit. Hi, Marcella. How are you? Hi, I'm okay. A little jet lag, but okay. <laughs> Welcome back to the States. Thank you. Glad to be here. Yeah, we've got a brand new fierce album called Jewel. Can you tell me about it? Well, Jewel is um, kind of a combination of all my weird influences packed into one. Um, classical music, Beatles, and Motown. So it's kind of multi-dimensional about a lot of different things, not just about one subject or musically it's kind of it's very diverse yeah quite diverse yeah and chris thomas uh, produced it yeah that's right chris thomas produced it and um we got along great had a great time in the studio the most fun i've had in a long time really how long did it take to put this album together well it took me a few months to write everything i wrote about 25 songs and out of that we used about you know we use, ended up using 13 actually two of them, three of them are covers so i you know we ended up using 10 of my songs but an actual recording of it, we started in July of, excuse me, 93, and um, we finished by the end of the year. It was done, mixed and everything. And the first thing was such a beautiful song. What was the inspiration for I Believe? Well, I Believe is about racism or prejudice on any level. Um, I grew up in a neighborhood where we, my family are Jewish, and um, we were in a neighborhood that wasn't, you know, and it was, I used to be ridiculed going to school, um, you know, kids would come up to me and say, hey, you're Jewish, you're proud of it, and laugh and, you know, make fun of me. And I used to go home and say, mom and dad, why are they saying this? You know, what is the big deal? So what? I'm Jewish. What, what's the problem? So, yeah, that was my question. Why? <laughs> and uh, so they moved, we moved to a nice neighborhood where it was all Jews because they thought, well, that would be better. And I'd grow up a very nice Jewish boy. But there were a lot of, um, lot, lots of racial tension there. They were busing, you know, lots of different people and some, some black people in which, you know, I was fine about. And I always was taught to love, you know, and respect people no matter what, whatever they are, you know, inside, same here, same you know, here. and and there was all this racial tension going on, and and and, and um, in fact, people that I thought were my friends are running down the, the hallway with bats trying to beat me up, and I couldn't understand it. I don't understand why everybody can't. It's quite simplistic and naive of me to say, but I, I just can't understand why everyone can't just, you know, get along. And I think it begins at home, you know, with what parents teach their children, I agree. you know, and I think that um, people, if, if you're not taught at home to respect others for what they are, then you're not, you're going to learn the opposite outside. I believe you don't necessarily have to like something, you know, just let it be in respect. Exactly, you know? respect just let it. it be. Exactly. You know, I'm yeah. not saying my way, my look is right, it's correct, just let it be, so what, yeah. yeah. you know, it's not affecting you. Exactly, just respect everyone to be, you know, what they want to be and, and leave them alone. That's, that's what the song is about, really. Uh, tell me about the video for I Believe. Um, well, when I got together with my directors, they're called Big TV is the name of their company. I told them um, I really wanted to model my performance after this silent film called The Passion of Joan of Arc. That starred Renee um, Falconetti, and it was done in the 1920s. And she had so much passion about her that um, I was really just overwhelmed with it. Apparently she went completely nuts after. She, it was the only uh, film she ever acted in and she went completely crazy after that. And, um, but you could tell because the passion that she had in it. I wanted to model my performance after that and they came up with a brilliant um, uh, setting which was Stanley Kubrick's thing. It's called um, Becton Gasworks and uh, he owns it and he in fact used it to film Full Metal Jacket. So it was a brilliant location. It's kind of desolate and, and quite lonely, and it's perfect for the song. Let's take a look at it now. Okay. Can we talk about Shakespeare's sister? Yeah. How was that experience? Well, I kind of look at, at Shakespeare as my master's degree, you know, um, prepared me for this, and kind of reminded me of what it meant to be an artist again. I got a little bit sidetracked. Writing songs for other people is very soul-destroying and singing background, and you forget really what, what you're doing, what, what it's all about. Um, and especially when you write for other people, you have to use your imagination. What is this person like? You can't really bring your own personality into it. So when I, when, when I joined Shakespeare, I, I was really encouraged to bring myself into it, and that's, that really helped me to do this record. It was a great combination. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Creative, visually, musically. I mean, so what happened? Um, well, when I joined Shakespeare's sister, I, I told Siobhan I want to do my own record, okay, you know, eventually. And she agreed that I should. And um, after we finished Hormonally Yours, um, she said to me, well, listen, after the life of this record, all the promotion, why don't you do your own record? And then we'll, we'll t I'll take a break, you do your own record, then we'll do another Shakespeare's sister record. 
So I said, fine. So I started storing up material. And after we finished all the promotion in January 93, I went back to LA and started writing for my record. Came over to England in May, met with my producer, Chris, and went to an award show where we were nominated for several awards. And she announced through her publisher that um, the, the band was at the awards, that the band was over. So that's what happened. What an announcement. What a way to announce a breakup. You know? Yeah, yeah, I know. That was kind of, that was kind of disappointing. But, um, but it, it was cool because I was ready. You know, I had all my songs ready. I was, I was prepared, and, and that's history now. You're on your way. Yeah. You know, continued success and most of all happiness. Thank you. And what is that little message? Give a little, a bit of, give a little bit of love. And you get it back. Yeah. That's right. So remember that, okay? Yeah. Thanks for taking the time to be with us, Marcel, okay? Pleasure. I love you. Bye-bye. Bye. Good night.